Kamala Harris has never backed down from a challenge. She put cartel members and drug traffickers behind bars, and she will secure our border. Here's her plan. Hire thousands more border agents, enforce the law and step up technology, and stop fentanyl smuggling and human trafficking. We need a leader with a real plan to fix the border. And that's Kamala Harris. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve. Guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. And you just saw that blatantly BS ad that's Comrade Kamala Harris is running about being strong on the border and prosecuting cartel members, which we all know is BS, BS, BS. And today is September 27th, Friday at that, and Comrade is finally, after over three and a half years, taking her ass down to the southern border. She's a border czar still. She don't want to accept that title now that her ass is running. Now she's finally going down to the border. Because she know her campaign is bam torpedoing down the drain. And you just saw that blatantly, blatantly fucking lying ass bitch here. Talking about she's strong on the border. She's got a plan. Blah, blah, blah. And like what the title. The only thing the Democrat, the leftists, all these damn lunatics are good at is lying and gaslighting people and fear mongering. I'm done with it. It's time to call this shit out. It's time to put these people in the god darn place. We are too long been gaslighting and believing this lie or leaving these people to get power, control, and money for BS. All they're good at the lying. They're the devil. When you all you got is lies, all you got is manipulative and fear mongering, you're, you're straight up the tongue of the devil. No truth at all. Zero. They were alive and lifted their way to power. And that's all they've been doing. The, the leftist Democrats for years. It's time to call this crap out. This is, this is BS. Like I said, guys, anybody believes in my man, John Matrix, the black and white news and black and white sports man, follow my man on damn Twitter and X. Man, like I said, he even said the biggest lie in physical history. It is. 100%. And like I said, she got the nerve. Today, later today, they're trying to take her behind down to the border like she's been there and she's been fixing out. They'd allowed probably 20 to 30 million people in this country through the southern, northern border. And not, if they so-called, and not just that, they've been flying in migrants left and, white for, left and right for weeks. Flying in Haitians, Venezuelans, whoever from all over the world, flying them in. And trying to take over small towns and cities and stuff. So they, they, you know what they want? They want to cause chaos. Uh, um, they want to cause chaos. They want chaos to happen. They want the locals, they want Americans to have had enough, start attacking the illegals or immigrants so they can come in, push martial law, take your guns, and they can lock stuff down. That's what they want. They're trying to cause as much chaos as possible, bringing in these migrants, a.k.a. illegal aliens. Flying them in, taking care of them on our tax dollars. They want you to get mad, upset, and they want you to take take the matter in your own hands. That's the goal. That's the plan, guys. We have to be. We got 39 days in the wake up. We got to hold on. I know we're mad. I know we're pissed off at our government that hates us and screwing us any chance they get. We're taking care of these migrants on our tax dollars. They're getting a good life while veterans, real American families are struggling and barely about to drown out here. They want us to be angry, emotional, so we can start going off attacking so they can start coming in with the tanks and start locking people up, locking people down, taking your guns, taking your rights and freedom. That's what they want. We got to be smarter than that. We got to hold on, get Trump in whoever we can, and hold on to their life. We got to. And like I said, she's full of crap. And these ranchers, the border patrol, nobody's backing her. Nobody is supporting this bitch. I'm going to call her like I see bitch. That's, that's what she is, an evil ass bitch. I hate to be calling women that, but she is straight up. I'm tired of the BS, gaslighting, the fear monger. And like I said, and we know the bullshit fixes in. Now, what Trump said, we got to make it too big to rig. And this is a, this is, 
this is the Arizona Ranchers calling out Kamala Harris for last minute border trip, saying she encouraged illegal immigration. Yes, yes, she did. She encouraged it. She she opened the gates of our country with open arm for illegal aliens. Twenty to thirty men. She opened the she put the red carpet down and opened her arms up to illegal immigrants across the country. Not the country, across the world. Take that back. Across the world. Come on in. And third world countries, these countries been dumped in their jail, mental hospital, patients, anybody that had a problem or gave them problems in their country, they dumped them, they packed them up, and sent them to here in America. Every third world country, any country you could think of. Hey, we got problems in jails and stuff. They empty our jails. Send them all to America. And she had her open arms out to take bring, bring them in to take care of these goddamn crazy, illegal, mostly criminals. And let's watch this video here. Cause like I said, people had enough of the lies. I know people every night in my yard, and, and then afterward, it came, it, it came all up. Now you got close you guys up ads. Mm -hmm. If your goal is to stop illegal immigration and encourage legal immigration, then she did a terrible job. But if your goal is to encourage illegal immigration and immigration in any form, then she did a great job because I think they had a lot more. They, I think I know we saw a heck of an uptick, at least in my life, of people coming over the border. So I want you to know that you, you and your um, politicians in Washington don't know what's going on down here and you guys will come and act like you are concerned about it and that you want to do something but nobody from your administration ever came down here to really fix a problem all you guys wanted to do is put a band-aid on the issue that can't be you know you, you just want to put a band-aid on something you don't really want to get to the bottom of it you don't really want to solve it you really don't care about the mexican people or the people coming up the border you're using them and you're taking Oh, come on, ask people. Taking advantage of them, and you're very much um, putting money in the hands of the cartels. Yep. And you're putting money in the hands of a lot of people, but you're darn sure not helping out your constituents. Nope. And I don't. I truly believe that you're hurting the people coming up here. Yeah, they Because are. you're encouraging them Setting to come up too. illegally. Yep. There's no really. That that's not much of a lie for them. So you're encouraging that. Yep. And at the same time, you're hurting your own people directly. You're directly hurting them, taking jobs from yep. their own people, yep. driving our wages down with yep. all the cheap labor coming in. Yep. So I would tell Kamala Harris, if she, if she was here, I'd say, Kamala, um, uh, you're not helping anything. You're hurting us, and you're hurting your people, your own constituents. Yep. She don't care. They don't care. They, that's what they want the world globalists, the globalist elites. They want America to be down and destroyed. Like like they're doing now, so they can do whatever and have full control like they want. Like I said, the, and the bad thing about it, we know that a lot of gang members from third world countries are coming to this country. But the, actually, the the men and women that actually want to come in for a better life and got sucked into this, you're actually hurting them more in anything. You're bringing these illegals in here and thinking they can get a better life here. All you're doing is setting them up as well. And a lot of them are getting stuck are now stuck here in America. They're like, man, we thought it was going to be better here. It's actually worse. We could have stayed in our own country. You're hurting too many millions of people getting hurt one way or another. The American people and a lot of these illegals you're bringing in here. Because you just don't plan for them. There's, you have no plan for them. There's not many jobs. They're, not, they're in a whole new country, whole new culture. A lot of people don't understand them. It's like, it's, it's, it's actually worse. You're not, nobody's getting helped out in this situation. For the Americans and the illegals you're bringing in here. Now the cut down the game member in US 13, those guys there, they caused the hell and, and, ha and havoc. Oh, they're having a great time. They they they're gonna cause chaos, chaos and harm no matter where they at. But the actually in this, the people that actually came here want to do a better life and work for them and their family. A lot of them got are stuck here and and it's even probably worse off than it was in their own country. And that's the sad thing about it. And Kamala Harris, the Democratic, the world leads, the Uniparty. They have left these people to, to slaughter and stuff so they can use as their pawns and stuff 
So when chaos comes, the BS comes, we they can use it. So they can they could be like, look, Megan, MAGA supporters are look at them. They're attacking the migrants and illegals and stuff. We gotta come here and, and start cracking skulls. That's mostly what they want, guys. But let me know in this in the comment section, guys. The Democrat Party, the Unit Party, the Rhinos, the shit, they are evil, evil people. All they doing live, fear manga, gaslight the American people. And I and I'm seeing Americans are having enough of it. Some of them are waking up finally from it. Hopefully, we it's in good time. Hopefully, we can have with when the people unite and come together and stop lying to BS. America could be better off. People are slowly waking up, but slowly. I feel like it's not in time, but we'll take what we can, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you like? Do you believe Kamala Harris, the Democrats, and the Unit Party are full of shit all the time? Or you love it. Oh, they're, no, they're doing a great job. Kamala's been great on the border. She's perfect. Blah, blah, blah. Let me know in the comment section either way. I'm out to the next one, guys. Peace. Yeah.